I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. I specialize in games that can be played in 20 minutes or less, and usually I don't get to watch my smorgasbord segments air live because they happen to uh, air at the same time I'm driving my kids to school generally, but I always check back afterwards to see uh, in the comments if people had anything to say about the games that I was talking about for the week. And uh, recently there was a little bit of commentary about how I store my games and my shelves because I, ho I store them uh, horizontally and not vertically. And um, I just wanted to say, I don't even know how I would actually store my games if I didn't shuffle them around on a regular basis every time I film. They're a really fun filming background. Please note I'm getting to show off some games, like I have the new Takedo Duo, I have a Princess Bride game that I've been playing lately, uh, I Hate to Kill You, that's really cute and fun. So that is the purpose behind it, uh, and, it's, and it's a little bit of a pain to move it around every time, and I understand why the Dice Tower team doesn't do that anymore. It's easier to have a few decorative elements behind you and not have to reshuffle a bunch of games. But I really appreciate a dedicated gamer community that cares about elements like how you store your games because it comes in handy. Uh, recently I was learning how to play uh, That's Pretty Clever and we had the physical copy of the game and I played with my husband and with some friends. We got the basics of the rules down which it's essentially quicks but up a couple levels where you're trying to get the highest score and you're rolling these uh, dice each turn and it's a color-coded board that you're filling in numbers as you roll them and as you're uh, closing out rows or certain spots on um, columns, you, you're getting bonuses along the way. And there's a really neat element with the game with how you get to, you get to pick three dice each turn. But as you roll, the dice that you select, any lower numbers are taken out so you can't re-roll them for the rest of your turn. So there's an art to when you're selecting your dice uh, and how you're going about doing that so you get the best numbers for your board. Uh, and so I'd been playing this and uh, someone had told me that the app version was really great. So after playing the physical version, played the app version, and I got a high score of 262 and I was so proud. So I decided to check it against the leaderboards online and I was very surprised to see that there, uh, most of the scores I saw in the top 100 were over 300 and there were some that were in the 320s and just clearly I was missing something very basic to the game. And so I knew where to turn to get expert information about what I could be doing better. I posted on the Dice Tower Facebook page saying, hey, what are you supposed to do for That's Pretty Clever? And I immediately got uh, wonderful information from very kind people who were enthusiastic about helping out a fellow gamer, uh, gave me a far better strategy that worked instantly, was easy to implement. It's called the bow tie method and you close out blue and you go for a shape of like a sideways bow tie in yellow and then try to go as far as you can in the rows below. And you're uh, most of the time you're going to get over a 300 uh, as long as the blues work out. Sometimes that can be a little tricky. And so I did it, it worked. Uh, here's some proof. I got a high score of a 325 one time, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, but thank you for being such a dedicated community that you can be a helpful resource to other gamers. Uh, it is very much appreciated, even when it means there's gonna be a uh, commentary on my games. Speaking of which, uh, I have a box that I just got that is a kid's game and just, it is a giant box with a bunch of loose game pieces floating around in it and it's driving me bonkers. And if I decide to fix that, I know exactly who I'm coming to to fix the problem. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for having me on the show. You can check out more of my content on my YouTube and uh, YouTube channel and website and back to the folks in the studio.